Guys, welcome to Thy Mom So Hard podcast. We're here again. You we're can, doing it again. We're doing it. We're, you don't know that. We were here last week. Well, I'm just saying we're here again. Every time we say hello, it's a every, win. Every Tuesday, there's a new podcast that you can listen to wherever podcasts are listened to. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. TikTok. Now we got a couple up. And you we're can find tour. us on tour. So go to I'm Mom So Hard and buy some tickets and you can see this nonsense happen in real time. It's a two-person stand-up show. We're getting a lot of fun comments from y'all that have seen it. Everybody seems to be having a good time. It's a good we time. We just it's want it to be a big party. It does make – Krista makes me laugh in the show still. Jen makes me laugh in the show. She scares me <laughs> she sometimes. Said, she formed that like a question, but I <laughs> – she went up on the end. No, my parents right. My parents saw the show and they were like, oh my gosh, the show is so funny. It's so good. Gosh, Jen's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well. I go – See, that's why my mom should have been there because she would have been like, "Come on, Kristen, that show is great." I hate that Jen. <laughs> that Kristen is a light at the end of the tunnel of the life. That's my daughter. I went Barbara through all like, of this Let's to go get to home Kristen. And wear blankets and watch it. bad television, and I would yep. be like, "Sure, that sounds great, Barb. <laughs> Let's go." Uh, yeah, it was super fun. I'm, I feel like the shows are getting more and more fun because it's getting in our bones and we're getting to go to yeah. places and see people and it just like... I get excited to see your folks when... when Because they're... And they're coming for Thanksgiving, which is... Yes. I'm super My excited about. My mother-in-law is no longer coming for Thanksgiving. Why? At one point, well, oh, God, update You take me. it up with her. I will call her because I'd like her to come she over. She would be ecstatic if you called her. She does not feel comfortable to travel during the holidays, which is fair. She's got... She's immunocompromised and she's nervous. And okay. To each their own. Yeah. And um, I think that... <laughs> I think that my husband is difficult sometimes. She got enough of her she son for 2021. Of, she loves me. She's like, can't yeah. get enough of me. Can't well, get that's enough why of I you. Think she, she should get come. enough of her son. Yeah. And she listens to the podcast. Hi, Sarah. Um, I wish she would come. She loves going to your house. It's a saving grace for us. It's for her and for me. It's literally like we get Colin talking about sports and having a scotch and everybody's happier. I mean, I love when she comes. I really do. I, I know love she, when she makes really yummy food. Well, if you are listening to this, Sarah. We would love you to come for Thanksgiving. You, and you know what? You don't need to make a layover at your son's house. You could just come stay. Listen, <laughs> she's got a Murphy Direct bed with flight. her name I all do. over it. It's right here. Literally, she would rather stay here. I promise. Uh, we've got a very steep set of stairs, and that's not easy for a lady yeah. with two new knees. Um, but she's doing great. Uh, my parents are coming out. They love Jen. It, like she is a daughter. And it's so funny because they never finish their thought with me included. So like it's always like, gosh, Jen's got a nice house. There's never like, oh, and you do. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> my dad goes, what my dad say? He goes, gosh, that Jen's a good egg, isn't she? I was like, yes, yeah, she's the best. God, you know, you guys up there. God, she's Did he funny. really call me a, a good, good egg? egg? Oh, no. How Dang the hell it. am I going to make that up? That's Dewey in a oh. heartbeat. That's Dewey, Dewey, Dewey. And he just God. thinks what we're doing is so funny. And he loves when the women want to take pictures with him. Because oh, they, God. He thinks. He acts like it's. It's new. It's his like oh, eighth show. Oh, man. I Whoa. bet you ladies are going to want to. Take, take a picture. He's, I'm, that guy's going to wear a shirt that says, I'm Dewey. That's, <laughs> what, that's one step away <laughs> from he what he's doing. <laughs> He's like, I never know why they want to take a picture with me. And I'm like, Dad, you took like 50. You had your own like VIP line. We, it's, yeah. You should enjoy get it. Over get over get here. Get over here. And get a photo. Get, oh, Let's, gosh. Come okay, on. Fine, come yeah. on. I'll put my arms around you. <laughs> He's like, hey, don't wear a low cut top. I didn't. I wasn't well, looking down there. Tall guy. I can't yeah. help but. Woo. Yeah. He's. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, don't call anybody broads, please. I like it. Yeah, I know, I but not like everybody it. does. I'm like, come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. You dizzy broads. No, 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 no. Yeah. Dad. Um, but that is that is something I wanted to tell you. So uh, I got to stay a couple days with my parents after we got back from the Grand Island show. And I'm so glad I did it. I was really homesick for the kids because yeah. we had been on the road oh, for five God. days. Yeah. Home for four and then off again for five. That's and not it, enough time to get sick of them. It's not enough time to get sick of them. And yeah. I just felt like I was still aching. Like yeah. when I got on the plane, I was it, really yeah. emotional. And I can imagine because I I felt like I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to see the kids. And then I had two more days yeah, in, in a very slow paced environment where you're sort of not 
you're you're not filling your days with all this extra stuff so you to think about no it all distraction. the time. Yeah. My daughter was like, "Mom, you FaceTimed me four times and it's it's 8 a.m." And I'm like, "I know, but I just I miss you." And <laughs> but you see your hair before school. Like, but it was so so today's episode, I guess we could call it kind of about like like where we're from, like heritage a little bit, but um I'm going to share a little bit about this story, but not too much because it's not exactly mine to tell, but I, I have to tell you a little bit. So um, I got to talking with my dad and my dad was adopted and he was adopted during the baby boom and in 1947. And so um, when he was, ad- the one thing I told him today, I said, is it okay if I talk about this a little bit? And he goes, you just make sure that you say that Eleanor and Ralph are my parents and that, Aww. that how lucky I was to be adopted into such a wonderful house. Cause he, cause there's more to this story, but I thought that was so touching cause he <clears throat> wants to make sure that credit, credit goes to the right people. So yeah, my grandmother, Eleanor was a brittle diabetic. She was, and they said, do not have children. It will, it'll kill you. You can't oh, have kids. Gosh. So she adopted my dad and my dad my grandfather Ralph and Eleanor adopted my dad and he is was Is that where Eleanor got her name yeah. from? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, and she was a like a foxy redhead with big old blue eyes and she uh they adopted my dad when he was 6 months old and they are the kindest, nicest, most loving people you've ever met mm. and he had a wonderful life because of them. So that's that's the the thing I wanted to say cuz I know he would want me to say that and I, it's absolutely true they're the kindest, nicest people, but I will tell you they're both so laid back and so quiet. And then there's my dad. He's like, do you want to buy a car? Like, he's like, <laughs> hello, baby. So it is funny when you look at like people who are adopted. Sometimes I'm sure they feel like I, I love you so much, but I don't feel 100% like, like we're not, you know, we don't look alike. We don't, yeah. there's some stuff. Like I remember that I'm fully like the genetic <laughs> children of my parents, but I uh, remember going like, are you guys sure <laughs> that because it feels like maybe how did this happen i'm you know, so different in the 70s you know, yeah you never military know hospital. Were it could have been like uh take this one yeah, yeah this uh, one's we get fine. a little mix up in the nursery yeah Which, she had, uh, but i hate to tell you look ex- you look a lot like your mom but you look a lot like your dad yeah so yeah. there's oh, God, really I'm, no I question know. mark and you look exactly like your brother so if there was a mistake it was made twice was, and that hospital needs to be shut down yeah that needs That's, to be shut uh, down. Yeah. Um, so my dad, uh, after my grandparents died, he wanted to honor them by not doing anything until they passed away. He became very, very curious. And I think he had been curious for a very oh, long yeah. time yeah. about his roots. And here's the thing you have to understand. My mom is from a family of 13. Yeah. There's 70 first cousins on, at the very minimum. Yeah. And then like a million second cousins and we have family reunions where we have to get an aerial photo where we have to do like, there's so <laughs> many like Van Am t-shirts they, and it's crazy. They the, get a satellite image Yeah, they get from a satellite Google. and they're like, Google Earth takes our picture. <laughs> but but then my dad has a sister named Lois. She was at the show. Oh my gosh. She's fantastic. She's special needs. She Why works did at we Scoops. Get to say, she had to go home afterwards. She had to go home afterwards. Yeah. Uh, her, the, the lady that brought her for us um, had to scoot right back to Hastings. But um, she works at Scoops, which is a, a really great little ice cream shop. And all the people that work there have needs. And so go into Scoops and Hastings and see my Aunt Lois. Oh, She's man. a bocce ball playing Mama Jamma in the, in the Special Olympics. Yeah. And, uh, sorry, oh, plane, boy. plane overhead, plane overhead. House. God, Whoa, I'm going to get a Coke that's Zero. Real. What, what can I? Casey, yeah, can absolute. Maybe? Get one. one I'm, I kind of want to have a cocktail. I kind of. What time is it? It's perfectly fine, right? Can I change that I Coke just, Zero to a White Claw? Yeah, I'll take one too. If there's another one, if I there's a spritzy, yeah, an eyelash appointment. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna need one to get through that middle school. Oh God, Jim. Oh, can Thank you believe you. that? I don't even know how to put my head around that one. But, uh, but I was gonna say, oh, Lois. Oh. So uh, she's also adopted, right? Also adopted, different. Uh, by okay. mom and dad so but also ball of fire ball of fire herself everybody knows her everybody knows her i have my friends, friends text me and say i saw lois today at the special Olympics. give this picture <laughs> to Kristen. <laughs> she's Kristen. awesome if there is one woman that i feel like like and and this is a has so much to do with my mom who i make fun of all the time but honestly is in this space like a saint because her, my mom had a sister with down syndrome and so my mom w- also taught special ed and has been we've always worked with that community and and uh my mom 
is the uh, Lois is the uh, ward of my parents. So like yeah. they they are her guardians, and they my mom has done a spectacular job with my aunt Lois in just terms of making sure she could live independently, but has help where she needs it. Yeah. And that that's where it's at. Like you know, she goes up and checks on her that we have you know her place cleaned, but then Lois has to have like a chore chart and it has to have. Aww. But she's she's hilarious and she's so independent and she has had a boyfriend for thirty years. His name is Rick, and every time I see her, I'm like, Lois, you've been dating that guy for a long time. He needs to put a ring on it. Yeah. And she's like, I know, I know. Aww. It's taking him forever. I'm like, they just do. <laughs> they drag their feet, uh, Lois. They drag their God, feet. They're like uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. I know. They're fantastic. And so they live in the same little community building. And Oh, God and she bless them. can make food. She's better cooked than me, 100%. Has nicer furniture yes, than I, I do, 100%. That. I always say she the has a better... cooking part, I feel like. Shut up. And she has a better credit score than me. That's totally well, it, true. then she blows mine quite out of the water. Yes, she's, she's much. much better person than me in general. <laughs> so my dad was raised with, um, with my Aunt Lois. But I think... Um, and I think adopted children and would can relate to my dad on this is like no matter how perfect the scenario is, there's these questions that you have and they're pretty intense. Yeah, I... That... I've always... I've heard, I've heard it too many times for it not to be true. I I think there's no way to understand it unless you are an adopted child. 100%. Because if I had those feelings of not fitting in and I am 1000% my belong to my parents. Yeah. I can imagine the amplification of those feelings being like question marks, you know, and and just wanting answers yeah. filled and in heavy and stuff. heavy questions, heavy questions like how, how could you how come you couldn't just make it work or why couldn't I be with you or was, how could you let me go? Especially when you become a parent and those no, are but really, most of the time the answer is cause I love you so cause much. Cause I love you so much. And 100% she did the right thing. And I'm not going to go into that too much because um, hopefully we'll have my dad on here and he can talk about it. Cause I want him oh God, I to be that. the one to, it, to share his stuff. But like, Life was not easy for her. We found her. She has since passed. Her name was Lillian. Aww. She was known for being um, a very good singer, which <laughs> explains so much about me, what you guys. What does it explain? Um, why I, too, am one heck of a singer. <laughs> and a disappointment in so many ways. No, um, she was a very what good singer. you like music? And we got a picture of her, and she looks exactly like my sister. It's crazy. And let me ex- tell you this. Oh, my when gosh. I, say, I didn't know you saw a picture of her. When I say my dad is Czech, I don't even know how to put this into words. His 23 and Me, when you do a 23 and Me, generally you get these like big circles that to- show the regions you're from. Yeah. Like my mom's like German and Dutch and all these yeah. big circles. I think mine, mine looks like an old antique Pan Am map. It was just all over the yeah, place. Yeah, because we're 50 shades of white. There's yeah. literally like so many things. My dad, it's like there's a pin needle in the village. It is <laughs> It is literally like so wow. high, he's 100% check. So the, the thing that is so cool is he gets to, just knowing that makes him feel like, okay, so now I know I, I belong to a country. I belong yeah. to a place. And then he, we found out that his mom um, was a good singer. So he kind of lights up. The, this explains why he's rhythmic and musical. Yeah. And, and he, he's all of a sudden loves playing the piano. Like he's he's like, there's all these things that are kind of opening up for him. They're very, very positive. And here's the greatest thing. So he found that he has siblings. He has started to talk to one of them. Oh, my goodness. Which is very exciting for him. And then he found out. He has seven uncles, and half of them are still alive, which puts them in the upwards of the 90s. One of them he has become friends with in Omaha who paints houses, and he's 90 years old. What? 90 years old. And I get I saw a picture. Oh, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you, but I'm not going to post it until. This is very exciting. So let me, let me tell you the most exciting part. Well, or the ironic part, I should say. Um, seven uncles, and might I just say... They are very attractive. Oh my goodness. They half of them are still alive. That's crazy. But you know what that does for my dad is he's like, oh, longevity is on our side. Like, oh, these people have long lives. Yeah. Oh, they're still like my dad is such a fireball about life and that there's no age limit to doing the things you want to do. That looks like Megan. That's his grandmother. Okay. Wait, I get confused. Yeah. If those are his uncles, what would that be? What would she be? His mom. Mom. 
Maybe. Oh, that's his mom? Ma- no, I don't know. That's not, I don't think that's his mom. I think that's, if those are A his wife, uncles, that would be They his- would be the brothers of his mom. When we got pregnant with Eleanor and we found out, we tried to get the this is before you could do a blood test and find out what genetic or what uh, gender they were within 15 minutes. You had to wait it out. And so I made the doctor try to tell me and he was like, boy, I don't know. It's too early. And I'm like, fine. What's the boy? We had such a shallow name pool in our family because we like to do family names. I was like, yeah, Lawrence, that's not fun. And Dewey, it's fun, but it's specific. So I was like, we got two names to work from. And now he's got these seven damn uncles and they've all got the coolest names. They're like Milo. Acklin, uh, Otto, Michael, like that's basic, but I just felt like in a, I was like, dad, if we would have known this like two years ago, Eleanor would have ended up a boy, we would have been okay, but she's a girl and got your mom's name. So it all worked out in the end, but he is so excited about just connecting some dots for himself. And it's like, there's people that he gets to talk to that say like, this is one thing that broke my heart. There was an uncle who told him, uh, she thought about you every day. And that's, I think that's hard for my dad to talk about. And so I'll let him share it with you and then we can all ball together. But yeah, I just, he, I, I think, just froze up. I think me. he felt like very seen in that moment. And I was like, so happy to be there with him. And, and, and I was like, dad, he's like, calm down. I was like, huh, huh, huh. I was like, you gotta go see everybody as, as you can. And but he's okay. Like, Good God, pour another beer, will you? God, what was I, what you guys, maybe this was a conversation I had. Oh no. Did my, well, you have a, go out to lunch with my parents and I wasn't invited? That's what I'm wondering. I would love to. Yeah, they will. Uh, Kristen, you stay home. It'll be easier. Well, I'm not saying I want you to stay home, but if they wanted to go to lunch, you know. Yeah, they would. I would love to do that. Um, but I would imagine that the hardest part, God, I can't, this is another it's thing hard. I can't even speak to. For anyone who decides on adoption for their baby, I would think the thing like just based on me and my brain I would be like I need to know they're okay I need to know they're happy that they've had a happy life you know oh I remember what it was I was listening to there's this uh this woman who like saved all these kids from Nazi and all of their parents were taken away (sighs) but all that the parents wanted was for the kids to have a good life yeah you know be okay yeah and so I can imagine, like, that that would be what would be on her head, like, her mind every day, because then you would really feel, like, if, if he's happy, then you did it right, and the best you could, yes. what you wanted happened. You wanted them to have a good life. and But then you would be so scared, like, what if that didn't happen? I would like to believe that for the most part, it happens. I have to believe that, because I believe if you make a sacrifice so great that you recognize that you cannot provide, let's not forget, like, she wasn't married, okay? And she wasn't, like, everybody loves to then, you say that, then they're like, well, was she skirting around? No, she wasn't. She got pregnant. Hey, I was skirting around. But do you see what I'm I saying? Like, been pregnant. There's a lot of judgment for this woman. And well, I think yeah. that find that highly unfair. And I'm sort of like, well, maybe I leave the details out so you don't get to say anything. Because, like, you know nobody what? Nobody can say anything. Nobody can say anything because that's the hardest decision. Like, you, we, we don't get to walk a minute in their shoes because that no. is a tough, tough thing. Yeah. And back in those days, um, she was not allowed to get more than an eighth grade education. Um, mm-hmm. It was, you were in the sticks. It was uh, like small, small farm communities. They, there was no resources for her. Um, they were quick to shame you. They like, there was just, this was a different time and it wasn't that long ago. That's what we have I to know. remember, ladies, is it wasn't that long ago when like we weren't far off from the, the, from the farm's mare. Do you know, like there was the horses and there were the women and they were kind of like, one of these could be more important than the other. Honest to God, that's how they, we were sort of like cattle. And I know you, it sucks. You know what Addison was telling me in Texas, they say, um, egg money. It's like, like something that's cheap or not good money is your egg money. And it's because all that women could make was selling eggs from the chickens. So it was like an insult, like. You couldn't make money 
It was a joke, the idea that a woman could go make money and provide for herself. We, it's just, it was such a different time. I think my grandmother would be really proud of me and proud oh, yeah. of my mother and proud of uh, you and proud of like the women in our lives because like she didn't she didn't get a shot you know like yeah she didn't get a chance to sort of stand up for herself and um and she did the best thing that she knew how to do and she did the right thing i think it's very fucked up and that is the only word to describe it that a woman could be feel like oh because i'm not married to a man i'm i'm gonna give up this most important thing to me because i've been made to feel like Right, and she had no resources. She had no way of supporting this baby. Yeah. Like they, so she did the thing she knew how to do, which was to be selfless and give this baby to my grandparents who were aching for a child, and they knew they could not have a biological baby, mm-hmm. and they raised my dad with such love. His uncles and his aunts, and even you know Lois. Like it was a treasured time for him, but I love seeing him have all these, uh, this information kind of filled in. He feels like his feet are on the ground. He's, I know he feels desperately sad that he didn't get to meet her and like, yeah. and there's still so many questions and so many things to unfold. But every time he has like, he picks up a phone and, and, and it's a call from one of his family members. He feels like there's a, like a lightning bolt through him. It's really changed his it's just awesome. It's well, that, awesome. I get that because I have such a small family. Like, yes, that, you do. That I want to do 23 and Me, and I hope to God my dad was catting around or something because it'd be so <laughs> great to know that I had some siblings or co- I have one cousin who I love with all my yeah. heart, Austin. Um, he does not have children. He's special needs. Yeah. And he lives in a group yeah. setting. Yeah. Which is um, really awesome for him. It's a really good life for him. Yeah. But I. I ache to have a bigger family. And yeah. my kids, you know how when they're like, mine are six and eight, and they're like, when I grow up, I'm going to have 10 kids. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to hold you I'll to it, it Yeah. And then like you're, them. but even Britt's side of the family has, um, Lexi just has Brayden. So you have one, um, one yeah, cousin. Yeah, my kids have one cousin too. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy to me. I don't even understand that. I could sneeze and have a cousin. I, I we go to shows and I'm like, is there anyone in this audience that I'm related to? And like 13 people will clap and I'll be like, first, second, or third, fourth? What, mm. Where are we in That's, the camp? I feel like it's such a waspy back east kind of thing to have like, one I, or two. I feel like my dad's mom was like, doesn't somebody come in and have the babies for you? I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. I've got to do it? No. Meanwhile, my mom, my grandmother was I'll like, I'm going to pop out number 10. Thing. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to keep washing the dishes because at this point it's easy. Number 11, where'd you come from? 12. Oh, it's Terry. Okay. Go, I know. That's go great, milk a though. cow. 13. I should probably stop here. I should probably stop here. <laughs> my and, uterus uh, fell out of my body she after didn't, that. It med- didn't. She had zero. She, she just, and... My on my mom's side, the I have an aunt named Anna Fay who's basic. She is a genealogist and she's also a genius, so she's super smart. She sent me this breakdown of our family heritage from my mom's side, which has all the answers. We literally can trace our lineage back to 1516, and guess what? We are farmers from Holland, and <laughs> it w- when you look at it, there's everybody has like upwards of over 10 kids per and there's very few infant mortality like because back in the day like women are like hey go have this baby in a field so not everything worked out all the time not us there's like they all the yeah everything took and stuck Those and they were, had a million babies they would have that baby leave it in the field and that little holland baby, baby would, would walk s- up to the door and be like did you forget something yeah. what the hell you just had me and you left yeah. me in a field and i'm wearing oh, wooden by shoes by the way i got some water out of the well right. for you i got water out of the well and i'm i'm a, i'm sucking back some whiskey i'm literally four hours old yeah well my mom did the um i don't know what it was it through ancestry.com yeah. or something like that she got very into it. She's always kind of been into it because my my grandpa's sister um, did that too because it, she got did like way, way back genealogy where you had to like drive to the um, cemetery to like Amazing. find when people were born and died and who was Whoa. related to who because, you know. It, this, I love that. It was super cool. But that's like true crime in a weird way. It's it like told, it's and you, you go through Bibles and stuff like that to see birth dates. You go through like what? Bibles at to, to see when... 
kids were baptized at churches oh my and stuff. Gosh, that's They're, so cool. Yeah, that's that's how a lot of that stuff gets onto ancestry.com is they they see who the kid was in the church. Like churches are responsible for keeping everybody. Yeah, because you have history. a that makes perfect sense because you have a baptismal certificate. At least that's yeah. what we did when we were late to Eleanor's baptism. But she's on the books. She Made I don't it. think I have her actual. Yeah, but she's God saw it happen. God so it's saw it legal. happen. He's like, we dipped her. She's good. Yeah, but so she Kristen's did it. Be- not, but she is. She's been well. She's on thin ice. She's is on what thin ice. I think the official term is right. You can't say that you go to mass twice a year and call yourself a Catholic. And don't, I don't like to joke Catholic-ish. You've played that a lot. What if? What if in fifty years at the or sixty-five years uh, at the end of your life? Oh my God! What are you doing right now? This is my least, <laughs> this is my least favorite conversation. You better change it. Uh, what if uh, Saint Peter's like? Did you steal Jen's yellow bowl? I will say, St. Peter, here's a 20 spot. (laughs) I think you better. uh, Glass houses, buddy. Glass houses. Okay. She has so many bowls. That broad does not. You don't want to know where that bowl is right now, St. Peter. It's watering her dogs. So Mm -hmm. I had it with lemons in it displayed beautifully on my countertop. Yeah. Was it that important to her? She has many, many a bowl. I think you need to take it up with her. So let me in, sir. What's up? Be now like you're going to talk about some dudes I slept with? <laughs> <laughs> no, my, okay, so my grandpa and his siblings, their mom died, they were farmers, died very young, and he was born, I want to say, in 1918. Wow. Yeah. And so what they used to do is they just shipped the kids off to live with like distant yeah. relatives yeah, and stuff like that. My Uncle Otto took a bunch of kids during the Depression. Yeah. So when, uh, she got old enough. My aunt, his sister, they were like some of the siblings like reconnected. Some were closer than others. She wanted to know everything because it's not just the church, but it's the women that are traditionally like the historians of the family. And yeah. so their dad hadn't kept records of stuff. So my yeah. aunt did that. So my mom is doing it now for her side of the family. I think it's mostly because <laughs> there's this rumor that on my dad's side, we're related to Edgar Allan Poe. And I think she's like, I'm going to dig till I, I find, find somebody that interesting too. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get my Edgar Allan Poe on my side. Well, she's we're not related stepping. to Johnny Carson. Yeah. She's not stepping until she gets to Adam and then really. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's like, I'm on the fence. If Jen's going to make this tree. I'm mad at her right now. I'm not going to put her on the branch. The branch is broken. The, bra- the, the branch is going to say Jen. Where I'm mad at her. Yeah. It's got my kids on it and then mother <laughs> unknown. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so. Barb, wouldn't that be your daughter? I don't know who you're speaking about. Yeah. Yeah. The family trees of it all are very interesting. Yeah. I so my mom, she'll, well, she used to get really excited. She's like, we've got a, you've got a, a distant, uh, great cousin who, you know, great, great. was the Duke of Frankfurt or some like, <laughs> uh, or she would be like, nobody likes to talk about this. Everybody likes to talk about the Edgar Allan Poe's of their family. But yeah. my mom would be like, hey, did you know that we had a Confederate general in our <laughs> family? And I'm like, <laughs> don't go bragging that, Barb. That's not a bragging chip. Let's, uh, no, they were happy to have somebody that read on her side of the family. Yeah, it was a yeah. very different kind of situation. Did you know this? Well, you do because of my uh, great grandma Oons picture, which if you haven't heard me talk about this, mm-hmm. I just want you to know someday I'm going to be on Antique Roadshow. Yeah. And they're going to say that Grandma Oontz is worth a million dollars. And I'm going to keep every last red cent. And I'm not going to share it one bit. The photo not with of one her? person. So, excuse me while I burp. The frame is beautiful. I'll give you that. Okay. The frame came over from Holland. So okay. did the photo of my aunt, who we can all agree in the photograph is mannish. She's a stern. She was notoriously stern, large woman yeah. with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a thin... Um, skinny husband who she had eight that children describes with. That everybody on every side of my family. I mean, honestly, uh, it was like, like skinny and then my aunt looked like a linebacker or my 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 great grandma owns. Well, that's what I don't understand when you always hear about, well, you know, in the 20s, everybody was so skinny, you know, they're like malnourished. I'm like, not my family. You couldn't, no. you couldn't fit. I had an aunt that couldn't get through a doorway. Yeah, my it, aunt. She was, was like, dairy whole cream. Manish, whole cream and they're also like fighting horses like, yeah they're they, on the like they're like they're probably sturdy. bench pressing 350 yeah. so like they're sturdy women is a great way to say it my aunt read it she lived to be like 104 what's her name 
Retta. Retta is a cool name. She, R-E-T-T-A? Yeah. yeah, she took in a whole bunch of... I love my, that name. My, How come that wasn't on the list with Delilah, which I love her name, but I'm just saying you were on, you were having a real name situation. And isn't that nice when you can think about family when you name your kids? I'm just saying, but it can also be a real okay, tussle. I did. Um, sh- Retta was not on the list, or my husband nixed it right away. I can't remember which. Oh, I love it. But her daughter, Opal, was on my list. Uh, Opal! Yeah. Oh that was, God, that's cute. So that was her nat- That was her daughter, and then she had a couple other siblings, which I don't know. This is like where I get into like second and third cousins. Yeah, of it all. where this is where the, the but you she, could date them and it wouldn't matter. She had all these kids, and then she took in all these cousins and stuff like that to live with her, and like had this house in Oklahoma that had just carpet over dirt. Oh my God! Yeah, and there were rattlesnakes under her carpet. Nightmare, 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 yeah. nightmare, nightmare. That's my nightmare, right? But you know what she would have done if she saw a rattlesnake? She would have literally grabbed it by its neck. Bit its throw, head off. No, she would have thrown it, it outside and said, you know what? They're good for rats. Like, they mm. pe- farm people, like, they're they, not, they're not people, standing she, on a chair like, she oh, my God. She would have cooked it. I'm yeah, sure. she would have cooked it. She would have been like, it's I'm going to make it into a handbag. It tastes like chicken. I, or, I mean, you could put it on a spit, and it's it's not terrible. I'm just saying, put it on. Like, I don't think you're going to have burnt snake if you put it on. <laughs> How do you do it? You wait. Well, I this don't is what know. I'm pict- I haven't done it myself. Kristen, I'm doing it all wrong because I'm picturing you like put it through its <laughs> mouth all the way out the tail. But you that's stupid. It would like fry. You know me. I'd be like, I screwed up the snake. You guys, yeah. I had one job. I had one job on the planes and I, I screwed up the snake. Wrap it loosely. It's like when, Je- when Jen it. asked me, she goes, I, you, you don't have to, because I didn't want to have to bring anything for Thanksgiving because I'm that friend. I'm like, can I just bring booze? And she goes, no, you have to bring a plate. And I go, Oh God! She goes. Just bring the the what is it? Green bean casserole. Green bean casserole. You would have thought I was breaking on the atom at my house. Yeah. I was bawling. I was like, "How do you make it?" And I said, "There's three things. It, in it. doesn't make any sense." And then you made me go get uh Dunkin' Donut. No, Dunkin' Onions. Du- Dunkin' Onions. Trucky Onions. Truck onions. Durky Dur- onions. Durky onions. Whatever. Yeah, they're the Stupid. they're the fried onions that. So that all I you have to, go to, like to a do French is store. No, you didn't. I went. Le they grocery were like, store? Yeah, and I had to Le- deal with a very pessimistic Frenchman when I said I need dirty, dirty jerky. No wonder you made this way too hard. All you have to do is go to your local grocery store, and on the end cap, they will say, here is two cans of string beans. Mix it with this can of mushroom soup. Put these onions on top. Well, why didn't you just tell me that? I called you. You you called me crying, and I told you to do exactly that. And you said it's Tried too to late. It. I it's too late. I already threw it out. I, I tried to get out of it so many times. It just you wouldn't relent. I was like, why do I have to bring this? Because I, I knew you could accomplish it. No, I and don't. And this care is enough. why your grandmother, why my grandmother, would be so mad at me. My grandmother um, used to make 24 loaves of bread every, or 25, I don't know why I said 24, 24 loaves of bread every weekend because she had so many kids and they, she would make them and then she would sell, she would also make pies and she would sell half the pies and then keep the pies for like a dessert. She like just never stopped. All this woman did was bake and do breed. it. Yeah. Just bake, breed and boink. Yeah. Yeah. She had six kids. How do you have to, Listen. I always say, I don't have time to make dinner that is more than microwaved, and I have two kids. So she had 13. She had what 13. What you doing making all those breads for? My parents, or my mom and her sisters, chipped in and got her a microwave when microwaves first came out, like as in a way, because they moved her to town, because oh. she lived on a huge farm, and then they moved yeah. her to town to Sydney, and... Um, my mom and her sisters were like, we're going to get her a microwave so she can like chill out. She doesn't have to work so hard. And you would have thought like it, she would have kicked this thing out into the street. She was like, what kind of fandangled bullshit is this? Yeah. She had like a warmer. She was like, I don't need your BS. She's like barely could deal with Tupperware. She was all, this is just bullshit. Yeah. And like, you, you put snake in there, it burns. Yeah, snake, you put a snake in there, it burns. <laughs> you know what you put, you know what you got when you put a snake in microwave? Mushy snake it's, microwave. It's chewy. It's chewy and gross. And you don't, the don't, ends of it get real dairy. crispy. Put it on a spit in the back. And then <laughs> and then she had a backyard. Not you, Kristen. You'll put yeah, it on you'll long put ways. It, get her out of here. Uh, my, my grandmother, so she had this backyard. And I remember thinking, like, 
this looks crazy to me, but she had a backyard and she's always had a huge garden. So when she moved into the house in Sydney, she had this little backyard. She blew it out into an entire garden. So where her neighbors uh, had like normal like lawns, so she had like friggin' cucumbers coming yeah. out of it. And you just see her like moving I through. I love that. And then she'd come in. I was like, I wonder if your neighbors are like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, I moved in. Wait, I didn't plant any cucumbers, but I got them. I got them yard. over here. They're coming over. She, her gardens were perfection. Sure. She just didn't mess around, you know. Yeah. She like, she was a really um, sweet woman, and she actually, I remember one time, and I was very young because she died when I was very young. Um, one of my only memories of her is that she had white hair, but she was so agile. Like she was always on the floor and standing up on it. She was like, she'd always say like, you know, God helps those who help themselves. Like don't like. Get, you know, she's had so many kids around her by this point. She's like, you guys are all like crazy. Well, like, I'm bored you. I'm, o- I'm over it. I've seen it. I've yeah. done it. I don't need any help. So uh, I had to sleep with her one night for whatever reason. And she goes, I heard you kick a lot when you sleep. And I go, I like, like cold stared her. And I was like so nervous. And she goes, I'll kick you right back. And I Aww. think I slept like I was in a coffin the whole <laughs> night. I was like, wrapped my legs around me. And I was like, she, she means business, but she was so sweet. Aww. Yeah. And that's your mom's mom. That's my mom's mom. And then my, my dad's mom was Eleanor. And like I said, she was diabetic. And uh, when my grandfather, they were very in love, my grandfather and grandmother. And when my grandfather died, she died very quickly after he did. Cause they were just like. Two peas in a pod. My my grandfather was a horseman, like kind of a horse whisperer, very calm. His name was Ralph. He was very like, kind of looked like Robert De Niro, just good looking guy with like, like flannel shirts and like kind of pulled up to his arms and would sit on fences and sort of watch these horses. Meanwhile, my dad's like trying to sell combines and like he's mover and shaker and probably should have lived in a bigger city. Yeah. They're so different. They were so, but, but he, my dad loved his parents so much and it it was really special so he I think all of this adoption stuff he has done a very good job at sort of compartmentalizing yeah the two worlds because he would never want to like I don't know it was very important for him to not like um what do you call it like smudge his memory of his parents besmirch besmirch yeah not smudge that's what is on my windows well I, I mean it's making sense in my head now as you say it that like just Everybody has like question marks. I mean, that's the reason like Ancestry.com is so popular. Yeah. Is because everybody wants to know like we where want answers from. to why we're the way we are. And also I think it like um helps you feel like you're on planet Earth a little bit. Like yeah. if Me, you I'm, I want people to blame. <laughs> I want people to feel better than. I want people to look down on. I want uh, people we- I can <laughs> Resent for not investing in real estate. I I just <laughs> what God. have my ancestors done for me lately? This medley lock. You got to brag about that. That's, That's pretty my dope. uncle. He That's invented dope. a ski lock. That yeah. who do you know has inventors in their life? You do. You have an uncle that made a medley lock. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, never made any money. Who cares? He, he made. <laughs> he invented. He got a patent. That's cool. That's cool. So cool. And your dad was this like um, connoisseur of music, but not only music, but like the art of listening to music, like yeah. the audio science of the music. Audi- he was an audiophile. Oh yes. my gosh. Yeah. No, I love my That's family. That's so cool. It's so, my, uh, Colin went and saw, uh, took a bunch of merch that we did for a show, God bless your dad, and let us, your dad let us put our stuff in his house until we could get to Omaha to do the show when we first yeah. started. And uh, Colin just talked like they went and hung out because Colin got there early and we were getting ready for the show. And he talked about all these like stereos that your dad had all yeah. these in perfect condition, like yeah. stereos that Sh- a shocking all, amount. Yeah. Yeah. All had a specific reason. And you're kind of like that. Like you have stuff that has speci- you like um, coffee tables. So many bowls. So many. No, but you like your heirlooms and you have stuff yeah. that has a story to tell or you like it for a specific reason. And I mean, I think that's like your dad. Yeah. And this, you'll really get a chuckle out of this. Um, we are getting a bunch of my husband's family's heirlooms. Oh man. Is it that one candle that you have no business owning? That one thing where it lights up and then it turns it. The- oh God, no, that would burn the house down. Yeah. My kids are- no, nothing dainty. But one of them is, 
a huge item used as a coffee table. And oh, I'm my God. Very Jen and her it. husband are having a bunch of marital woes right now that I unfortunately got in the middle of only because they said, he said there's a, a lot of small tables. He said the meanest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> Why do you like tables so much? Jen does have an affinity for And I'll for tell tables. you why. Because I love shit. And you can set <laughs> shit on top of tables. So come have a garage sale oh, man. and let me buy your shit. And I'll There's put it on so all of my tables. There's so many tables in this house. But your mom likes tables. I'm not saying you're like your mom. But your mom How likes tables. Dare I'm just you. saying you guys. Your mom likes. She displays all of the, the um, pictures of her family all over that are really cool you guys have so yep. much stuff from man your family's been collecting stuff since well i we, got a picture i didn't even finish about grandma Oons. let me just say i'm gonna be on the road show antique road show and here's why i know okay first of all this picture my aunt, my great grandma Oons. uh we don't know you look at it you're like boy or girl it doesn't matter fluid mm -hmm. is the word yeah and so she's wearing a weird hat and you <laughs> get in close and it's her face but then when you focus out you can tell somebody drew in the hat and the vest that she's wearing because you couldn't develop all the way around i don't know so but the the frame is authentic wow. from holland it's like an instagram filter for the 1800s could they do better so mm. i'm just saying nobody wanted her because she is a talking piece if you will she's uh you put her up there and you're she like, doesn't Whoa. look like she talked she doesn't she looks like she probably at best uh grunted and maybe yelled at people yeah she did a lot of uh commanding yes she maybe worked security mm -hmm. i don't know there was a lot of question marks about her but what i'm gonna say is i think she's gonna be worth a million dollars because it just got passed down from everybody and it's the only heirloom i have and i have her and i had her through college and I had her hung above our bed when I first started dating Colin because I thought it was hilarious. And he said, this is so creepy. You're really into Halloween, aren't you? Yeah. I really am. And I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, she's going to bring it home for me. And I'm not sharing one cent. Well, that's, listen, that's what happens when you have 71 cousins. Everything gets like. Yeah, you get it all. Split up. Yeah. Fancy my, bowls. My brother doesn't want it. You got a bowl that's stapled together. You've got yeah. little spoons and bells. <laughs> like yeah. little, little tiny tchotchkes from Sweden from 500 years ago. Yeah. And I've got nothing. But I have a picture of my aunt that might as well just have been a man. Your uncle, maybe. We maybe don't my know. uncle. Maybe she's the first one that's out of the closet. But and that, you know what? God bless her. So... You're just like Grandma Unst is what I, you're... You know what? <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I am. And uh, you know what? We're going to bring each other a lot of happiness and money. When I, I know. The all this stuff I show. have is probably worth a zero all combined, but it's worth it to me. It, it doesn't matter if it's worth anything. It's just cool that you have it, and it's cool that, like, this thing last was from like 200 years ago that's yeah. really cool yeah. i refuse to pack that stuff remember when i came over and helped you pack and i'm like i am not touching that because yeah. i promise grandma owns has spilled many times and made it i yeah. i don't should never own anything that could that could break when my dad was in vietnam he sent my grandmother china Oh, yeah. Like, the you know, a beautiful set. And my mom recently gave it to me. And this is what she said. I just want you to know that I've had this set for, you know, 30 years. And I've never broken a piece. Jen doesn't break China. I know. Jen doesn't <laughs> break China. Jen actually uses China. So I go, you haven't broken one piece in the whole time oh. my dad got this, gave this to you? Through his mother, it first went to his mother, then went to my mom. And now we have this piece. Guess what I don't use? That china. Because I got to uh, hand it to one of my kids and go, I didn't break a piece. I got to make it. Or maybe break pieces and think of her. No. Because I, no, I'm not going to be the first asshole to break it in our whole family. Oh God, is that my lineage? Well, I tell you what, I have this china that we use you all the time. You have six sets of china. I do, but this is my favorite. It's this weird like hexagon shape and it's like a weird bone color and it's got gold trim on it. And it's is like- Is that the one I put in the dishwasher and you got- you Yep. Know? But guess what? I put it in the dishwasher. It gets broken because I think about my grandma when I use it. 
You don't care because you have six sets. And I don't care because I... And your mother I'm, didn't go, well, Jen, we're all waiting for you to oh, break the gravy sure boat. Oh, she shit did. Are you <laughs> joking me? Of course she did. <laughs> Actually, we've never even broke a cheap place. Yeah. You're just a rough and tumble, aren't you? you Be give, careful. You give Kristen that bowl. She deserves it. She deserves <laughs> it. She'll take better care She'll of it than you. Well, thanks for letting me tell you about my oh, dad's story. It. You know, he loves you so much and I think Dewey is um, good people and representative of maybe a group out there that are uh, you know, kind of like, I don't know yeah. what it all means, but... And cheers to Lillian for giving us Dewey. Cheers to Lillian, man. And also... Eleanor and Ralph. Cheers yes, to them, cheers too. To Raised them. a good one. They are the best. All right, guys. We're going to do a hot flash instead of a mom box because we just need to, like, get the, get the blood flow going. Hot flash. Hot flash. talk about having 13 babies yeah, let's talk let's, about let's talk hot guys um can we all just agree that harry styles is the hottest you know not only can we agree but i think every single human on the planet can I agree think he appeals the, to everyone i think the straightest men i know are like I, if he kissed me i'd kiss back my husband is like you know what this harry styles album is, is great i'm like do you need to stare at the cover of it while you right. listen do you need he, to look dreamily at him? I don't understand him. And I did read that he finally admitted watermelon sugar is about the female orgasm. Of course, Harry Styles, because you can't be any hot. Oh, my God, don't look at me like that. Kristen is going to kiss me. She's so excited right oh now. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm, did you I'm know sorry, that? What? Watermelon sugar is about the female orgasm. What? I thought it was about him going down. Well, now Wait, Casey's interjecting on. that hold it's on. about... Him going down on watermelon somebody sugar, and I just... Hi. Watermelon sugar. Hi. I don't know. I, I read it on Instagram. I'm going to... I, I think it's about what I think. What is it? What do you think? It's a freaking fruit drink that you put out on the for a summer day? I thought it's it was literal. when you make two holes in a watermelon, you put a vo- bottle oh of vodka. Oh my God, I'm just you're kidding. such no, a No, I thought redneck. it was about... I have no idea. I th- Now I'm excited to know what it's about. Is it about an orgasm? Well... Okay, here Casey. Casey's Googling. <laughs> Casey, Google. Okay. Are there pictures? Is there video? Uh, is there a YouTube? Is there any video of him? After a lengthy speculation, Harry Styles has confirmed his long, his song. Ooh, his, his song? song. What? <laughs> Casey. Ooh. Watermelon sugar is about more than just fruit. It's about the female orgasm. Okay. So you're right, Jen. Okay. Um, everyone thought it was about him going down on girls. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So it's not, I mean, it's not, it's not that far it's off. It's not that far off. Yeah. Yeah. If, 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 if he's worth his watermelon sugar. That's right. He'll go he low. make sure. Yeah. Watermelon sugar. Low. Watermelon sugar. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you did there. You see what I did there? Well, any he man He confuses me. I, he, he hits all the parts of me that need to be hit. Well, certainly if he is. He's uh, feminine and masculine and masculine. He and cares about whether or not a woman dresses. has an orgasm. He deserves oh, the God. high praise. I just love that he wears palazzo pants. I've never, they shouldn't be so attractive on a man, but. He is the only guy who can, and I hate to spin this to Austin Powers, but dress like him and be super attractive. Super, it's, he's got the prince factor, dare I say it? Yeah, he's got he does. The prince he factor. looks like a Disney prince. He, he Well, yeah, that is not no. what I meant. No, no. that oh. is not what I oh, meant. Oh, he looks the like. actual prince. Got to knock and touch, dirty baby. If you no. want to press me. I saw, okay, how old am I? I went to Hallmark and there was a pin. 85. Shut up. Yeah, uh, you know, like ones you wear in your denim jacket, like a pin. Yeah. Like a, what do you call? Yeah. It? Like a pin. A, oh, circle pin. A P I N. P I N. Yep. Pin. And uh, it had prints on it, and he was like, 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 cl- like crawling on the ground, and you could see the top of his butt. By the way, this was like a. Oh wh- yeah, that was the uh, okay. album cover yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, One of them. Anyway, here's what I'm gonna say about that. I saw that pin. I might have been eight. I think. And I was like, heartbeat in my, I, yeah. um, and I was like, can I get that pin mom? And my mom was like, absolutely not. You're not going to borrow I was it for me. No, you're already not. not paying Doing attention what? to my actions in Hallmark. I was like, <laughs> who wants to hump 
the sympathy card section because that's what I'm doing right now. Well. Uh, But yeah, go for Prince and go for Harry Styles. He is doing all the right things for us right now. Yeah, he is. Thank you, Harry Styles. Harry, here's a... I know you're listening, and I would just like to say to you... All the gentlemen appreciate you as Yeah, well. he's dating a, a woman that's a decade older than him, and you know what he is? He's keeping up. He's learning Stop things. He's going to be better. He's yeah. going to be better because of it. Yeah. So he's just doing everything right. Just enjoy a lifetime of ass is what that guy should do. I would agree. I and would you know agree. what? I'm not going to name names, but I'm going to say your friend, uh, our friend your friend first was like i would kiss him if he kissed me and and we're talking about a man we're talking about a the manliest man yeah. that like middle of nebraska man yeah was like harry styles does it for me too and i think we can all agree that I is a so. that's a that's a man yeah that's he's he's the man we can all agree on my husband's is brad pitt i know deep down colin would i don't i think he just wants to like cuddle be his friend he Mm-mm. wants i think he wants I think he wants more spooning? than friendship. I think spooning would make him very happy. I think he wants to be Sporking, friends with them, maybe? but maybe Let's if just... they kiss a little, he wouldn't be too upset about it. Like over the shirt kind of stuff. Yeah, but Colin wants to be the one. To, he Doing just it. wants to see what his abs feel like. That's okay. what he said during Fight Club. He was like, they must be really, they must feel really good. <laughs> yeah, am I going to get in trouble? It's fine. No. We're all a little gay. <laughs> And that's our podcast. Thank you. Embrace it. Watermelon sugar high.